Hey dudes, I'm Hyla, and today on Hyla Cooking, we are making flatbread pizza with the pesto that we made last week. I realized I'm a total idiot, and I forgot to sing you the pesto song that I wrote for that, so I'll sing it now. Give me herbs and garlic, cheese and nuts, I'll make pesto all day long. You say you don't like pesto, what the f***? You've been eating pesto wrong. You need a new name for pesto, how about paste? You need a reason for pesto, how about taste? To give me pesto, 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 baby, give me pesto for this song. Okay, so first we're gonna make the flatbread. Put some flour into our mixing bowl. Add a little bit of salt and baking powder. Let's get that mixed up. We're going to add a couple tablespoons of olive oil, just kind of drizzle it in. Poke it around. And if you don't have a stand mixer with a dough hook, you can use a food processor with a dough attachment, or you can just use a bowl and knead it by hand. It's really, it's really pretty simple. Then we're going to add some milk with the machine running. Just, just mix it together with a spatula if it's being difficult. So then you want to knead it for about three minutes once it's kind of together in a ball. If you're kneading it by hand, you need to maybe go for four or five minutes, but with a machine, machines are better than humans, so we only need three minutes. All right, so we've got our beautiful dough ball. It's nice, soft, elastic. It's not sticking to my hands, so we're ready to roll it out. Just divide it into four pieces. You could get six out of this if you wanted them to be a little bit smaller than what I'm gonna make. A little bit of flour on the board. And then just roll it out. And it doesn't have to be perfectly round. I think it's kind of fun when they look like continents and they're just like weird and lumpy. And sometimes they end up turning out heart-shaped. That's pretty special. Once they're thin and rolled out, we're gonna cook them on a hot cast iron skillet for about a minute on each side until they're toasty and brown. Once all your breads are cooked, we're just going to put some toppings on them. I'm gonna use some of the cilantro pesto with some green onions and some red chilies, and then some of the basil pesto with fresh corn, tomatoes, and Kalamata olives. Once your pizzas are dressed to your liking, we're gonna bake them for about 10 minutes at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, I think 400 is about 8,000 degrees Celsius. I'm just kidding, I'll look it up though. There we go. This recipe and all my recipes, as well as some other ideas for toppings for these flatbread pizzas, is available at highlycooking.com. So check that out and let's give this a taste. love corn and basil together. It is so delicious. I hope you tried this recipe. If you make it, take a picture. Tag me on Instagram or Twitter or Facebook. I'd love to see it. And uh, please enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.